Good Monday morning, faculty, students, and staff, and welcome to the Weekly Buzz Newscast. My name is John Cannon, and here's the news for the week of September 13th. Chromebook distribution begins today, and the schedule will be as follows. On Monday, ELA will be in the North Building, first period. Tuesday will be Math, North Building, first period. Wednesday, ELA and Math, South Building, first period. And on Thursday will be Science and Social Studies, North Building, first period. Teachers, make reference to the schedule for Chromebook distribution. Chromebooks will only be issued on the designated times and dates. All first period teachers are responsible for reviewing the student technology list prior to your assigned date. Teachers, only send students to the library on your assigned day. Also on Monday, Social Studies benchmarks will take place during class and TSI testing will take place on Monday through Thursday in room 62 at the South Building for early college juniors. On Tuesday during sixth period, the University of Texas San Antonio will have a presentation for seniors in room 92 of the South Building. Please stop by the GO Center at the South Campus, room 92, or the GO Center at the North Campus, room F1, to pick up a pass to attend. A pass is required. All seniors are invited to attend. Speak to or email Lizette Gonzalez for more assistance. Map testing for science will take place on Tuesday. On Wednesday, early college seniors will meet in room 92 with STC to fill out an Apply Texas Drive application. On Thursday, early college juniors will meet in room 92 with STC to fill out an Apply Texas Drive application. Friday, all seniors that want to apply for college can report to room 92 any time of the day. All seniors are required to participate and complete a college application as part of your graduation requirement this school year. This will be an application for the fall semester of 2022. We will be going through your government classes to schedule you in to complete the application. Also, there will be social studies benchmarks and map testing for science on Wednesday. Senior portraits will be held on Thursday at the Capello Gym. Students will be escorted by their social studies teachers to the portrait site. Breakfast will be served once again in the classrooms this week, and students, make sure to report to your classrooms by 8.30 a.m. Students, please continue to abide by the dress code. Boys must be cleanly shaven. Hoodies and caps are not allowed inside the buildings. Torn or tattered jeans are not allowed, especially above the knee. Ladies, no short skirts or low cut shirts or blouses are allowed. In addition, masks must be worn at all times. Students, if you are breaking dress code, do not get upset when an employee of the district brings it up to your attention. Teachers, reminder that duty begins at 745. You must be at your stations by 745. Staff and teachers, please assist in clearing halls and checking for dress code. Also staff, remember that masks are mandatory for all staff inside the buildings. DMAT goal setting and slows conferences with your appraisers will continue this week. PLCs will also take place this week. Instructional models for EEHS will be in room A6 on Monday through Thursday. CTE PLCs will take place on Tuesday and Wednesday with Mrs. Gonzalez at the CTE building. All staff must attend a mandatory faculty meeting at 425 p.m at the North Campus on Wednesday. Also on Wednesday, progress reports will go out. Teachers, be sure to update all student grades. COVID testing is scheduled for today from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. And now, here's a look at sports. The Jackets football team entered district play on Friday night as they traveled to Sherryland, looking to take on the Rattlers. EE tested Sherryland all night and were within striking distance, trailing 24 to 21, with 647 left in the contest. But the Rattlers were able to stretch their lead late in the contest and walked away 
with a hard-fought 31-21 victory. The Jackets will host their first home game on Friday night on their brand new turf as PSJ Southwest comes to town with game time set for 7.30 p.m. District play also opened up with the Lady Jackets volleyball team as they opened up against Westlaco East and they completely showed their dominance by winning in a three set sweep. Now the one and no Lady Jackets return home on Tuesday and take on one of their fiercest rivals in Mercedes with match time set for 7 p.m. Also starting this season at 2 and 0, the Ed Cal Chelsea tennis team went into Saturday's match against Donna High knowing they were in for a fight. Donna High was one of the teams predicted as the preseason favorite to win district along with Ed Cal Chelsea and Ed Cal Chelsea wanted to prove that they deserved to be in the mix for the title. However, Donna High proved to be the stronger team that day as they defeated Ed Cal Chelsea, which dropped their record to two and one. The Jackets and the Lady Jackets tennis teams can get back on track this coming Tuesday as they face Mercedes. Both the boys and girls cross country teams headed to McAllen Saturday morning to compete in the McAllen Memorial Stampede Invitational. Some of the best teams from across the Valley and the Laredo area took part in this event and the Jackets and the Lady Jackets knew they were going to be battle tested. Both teams placed seventh overall with Rebecca Davila placing the highest with a second place finish. Matthew Garcia and Miranda Guerrero both placed ninth in their respective divisions while Natani Collins finished 18th in the Varsity Boys Division. Folks, once again, make sure to follow us on all your social media platforms to get all the latest news and updates for Ed Cotzels High School. You can follow us on Facebook, Jacket Network, Twitter, EE Jacket Network, YouTube, Jacket Network, TikTok, Jacket Network, and also now we have an Instagram under Jacket Network, and of course our website, jacketnetwork.org. That's pretty much it. That's the news for this week. Thank you for tuning in. For John Cannon, I'm signing off. Have a wonderful week and stay safe.